Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears and eyes for the 33rd Colonel Marbles Miniatures Review vidcast. Now, if you haven't seen it before, then this is a weekly video roundup of new and interesting 28 to 32 mm sci fi, fantasy, and very occasionally pulp miniature releases. It was a strong week this week, so let's get straight on with it. I'm pleased to say that the show continues to be sponsored by Rattlehead Games, fine purveyors of many of the independent sci fi and fantasy miniature ranges you'll see featured here. So we kick off at number 11 this week with Urban Mammoth's Metropolis. After the excellent recent releases from Urban Mammoth, I have to say I was disappointed with this suppressor sergeant who, well, basically just looks a little bit silly to me. You can't win them all. Other world miniatures make it at number 10. Paul Butler sculpted these multi-part castings of two barbed devils, both of which appear to have the Iggy Pop trademark walnuts tightly wrapped in condoms musculature. They are just over 40mm tall and are due for release on 20th of July at a cost of £11 for both, or £6 individually. Next up at number 9 we have Dark Age Games. This is Hef Zeba, a neat character figure who will set you back US dollars It's a cool pose which apparently premier sculptor Kev White of Hasselfree replicated for his Shimmer figure featured way back in a previous vidcast. The always impressive Crocodile Games are at number 8. This is a special Basti gamer figure sculpted by the hugely talented Chris Fitzpatrick. It will only be available, free, to players who participate at officially sanctioned crocodile events such as tournaments, painting contests and campaigns. It's a lovely figure, just a shame I'm not going to be able to get one. And number 7 this week is Anima Tactics. This is a 90% finished screen of Aoi Inukai, a rather cool looking anime style chick wielding a fan, who rather reminds me for some reason of that girl at the start of the film House of Flying Daggers. Must be something to do with the flowing robes. Up at the heady heights of number 6 we find New Bold World. This is Tamazin Tanaka, one of two new Grakmi warriors mounted on Juggers. The Juggers look to me a bit like those big robot things from that ice world at the start of the second Star Wars movie. Sorry, I'm really not a Star Wars groupie. Anyway, these are very fine figures, sculpted by the ever-reliable Bob Naismith, and selling for eight UK pounds each. So for the first time tonight, we cross the channel to see our old chums over at Rackham. It's always good to see new stuff from our mes amis, and this preview of Black Wolf looks exceptional. Facially, he really reminds me of Nemesis from 2000 AD. Overall, it's a beautiful design and sculpt, but there's no word yet on price or release date. At number four, we find Dragonblood miniatures. This is a model of Kalath the Reaver. It's close to 8 centimetres tall from the back foot of the Triceratops to the axe handle. The rider will be metal and the beast and base made of resin. This would make an amazing addition to any Lizardman army. It should be available from mid-August, although I can't find any indication of price so far, but it ain't going to be cheap. Brought to you in part by the Warstore.com, your online service for miniatures, rules and much more. Right, it's getting serious now. We're into the top three and at three we find Hordes. These are some of the new excellent Pharaoh Bone Grinders, who look like slightly orcish type beasties to me. A box set of four of these guys will however set you back twenty three ninety nine US dollars. Ouch. Eastern Front Studios find themselves at number two. Holy guacamole, what do we have here? Well from what I can tell it's the dwarf mechanic proudly showing off his new Steam Jack Walker. Apparently the walker is pretty big, seventy five millimetres, and the dwarf is thirty five millimetres tall. I've got to say I love both the concept and execution of the Steam Walker, and I believe there may be a version armed with guns etc. at some point in the future. Sculpted by Dmitry Sakaev, who's clearly someone to watch. Sponsored in part by Blue Table Painting, your first choice for an excellent miniatures painting service. But taking pride of place this week, it's Masquerade Miniatures. Here we find, captured for the first time in the wild, a rare sighting of the abominable snowman or yeti. Yes, Masquerade have this fabulous new miniature coming out soon. It's in three parts, it's 40mm tall, and will cost a very reasonable €9. Euros. It's got a great facial expression, and I love the sculpting done on the ape-like hands. It should be released around the middle of July and will be available from the Masquerade website. And just as an aside, I really think it would be helpful if more manufacturers use YouTube as a promotional device for showing off their figures, because it's great to see that 360 view that we've got here of this great Yeti really does help to show off the figure. Well, thanks again for tuning in to another Colonel Marbles Miniatures Review vidcast, and I'll see you again, same time, same place, next week.